All right, time to mount the TV. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Ha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna mount the TV right up there. All right, the TV has been mounted. It looks good. I need to get a microfiber cloth and clean off all the fingerprints, but it's up there now, and all I need to do is find a HDMI cable. Hopefully, I have one that's long enough. If not, I'll just order one, and that will be running to the computer. And I'll be able to use the TV as like a teleprompter, but the main use is so when I'm actually sitting doing the show, I'll be able to see the co-host. Currently, when I do the show, I literally cannot see them because they're on the computer, and uh, yeah, I just I won't be able to see them. So. Now I'll be able to see what they're doing during the show, which is going to help a lot. I'm happy that that's finally up. I just need to get that cable ran. Eventually, I'll be getting uh, longer cables and stuff so I can actually do cable management, uh, especially with this HDMI cord coming out of the uh, camera. So that's something I'll, I'll figure out later on. I also finally decided I'm just going to get rid of these boxes. I have more boxes I'm going to go through eventually. I also didn't get to show you guys yet, but I finally got the XLR cable soldered. Uh, so it's it's looking really good, nice and clean. I know people always ask about it and say, Matt, this is so expensive. This arm, a B and H photo video is like four hundred dollars. It's like three fifty, four hundred dollars. It's a lot of money. It's the same as the actual mic itself. Some of you know, some of you don't. I did get it for free, and I will be reviewing it. So stay tuned for that. Now that I got this part done, uh, I could really shoot it whenever since I've used it for. Uh, for a bit uh, and also same with this I got this for free I will be reviewing it a lot of people think it's ugly and uh, you know it's not the prettiest chair ever I still think it's pretty badass but goddamn it is comfy this could be the ugliest chair in the world and I would not care because it's that comfy now one of the next big things to do is get this the gaming rack moved over here now we're gonna clean this up uh, if you guys don't know this thing which is off by the way because I'm not going to be in here much longer. Uh, the tube actually hooks up through the window. But now that I have it hooked up that way, I need to kind of reconfigure because I need to move this thing over here because that was never a good spot. But now that we have this section cleared up, uh, it will go over here and then I'll eventually uh, get all the longer cables to run everything over to the TV and I'll get another one of those metal pipes and I'll run all the cables through there all along the top and then BAM! Right into the TV. So. Yeah. I definitely do have a checklist of things I want to get done. Uh, and actually, another exciting thing. I mentioned it in the last Pin My Shed, but I did in fact get longer speaker cables. Uh, I will be drilling a hole into the desk and running them under there so you won't be seeing those anymore. So, good stuff. Sitting at this desk now is honestly way better because look how much room there is. Like if I need to change the volume, I need to uh, reach and I prefer that. I don't want it to be right here. So I love how much room there is. I feel like I could actually see all the monitors now uh, without having to turn my head at all, which is one thing that, you know, kind of sucks when you have a, a desk with not a lot of depth. So that's why I always recommend to people, like, if you could barely fit the triple monitors on your desk as is, then it's probably going to be hard to effectively use them all. Um, but I mean, wow. It, seriously, this is like where I'm sitting. I can see everything perfectly. Just looks beautiful so if you guys have ever seen pin my setup you would know that i am pro footrest i personally believe that everybody should have one i know a lot of people just use their subwoofer or whatever's under their desk uh personally in my setup if you've ever seen my room tour i have an epic footrest that was way too much money but uh, i'm very excited because a company called qb actually sent out this thing you might be wondering what the hell that thing is but if I show you this you might you might get it see how it says first smart under desk elliptical yeah it's that it's like look at this this is a conventional pedal cycler and you'll see like your knee would be hitting the desk and things like that but the QB it's meant for you to be sitting at a desk now this is the perfect solution for someone like myself I am overweight and a lot of people always tell me that in the comments and I literally sit here for a living. I sit at my desk doing work and because of that I don't ever feel like going to the gym um, you know and I, most people don't really have time to go to the gym so something like this if you sit at your desk all day makes it so that you can exercise while getting work done and technically making it so you don't have to go to the gym. So literally I could just do this. Whee! And I'll actually be burning calories, which you can track on the iPhone app uh, and Android app, which is, I mean, it's just a no brain. There's actually two colors. So I know some people uh, don't really like the black and red look. They actually have 
chrome, which looks awesome. Like I didn't realize how cool chrome actually looked. So good news, QB is actually gonna be sponsoring a giveaway just for you guys. All you have to do is go on over to myqb.com slash LP slash sloshin TV. And as you can see, pimp your desk with QB. And it's really super simple. You just type your email right there and you're gonna be entered for a chance to win, but you also get 10% off and free shipping if you decide to get one. Uh, so that link is down below. A winner is gonna be picked in August and you'll receive an email. I'm super happy that QB wants to actually give one away to you guys. I think that's awesome and I think whoever gets it will really find a use for it. Uh, I know at first I didn't really wrap my head around like, am I actually gonna use something like this? But now that I've used it for more than two weeks, I can tell you guys it's actually really, really useful. And it's a super cool kind of like footrest that's not really a footrest, but you can use it as a footrest. So thank you QB for sponsoring the giveaway, guys. Go check it out again. Link is down below. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is pretty cool and I, I do think it looks pretty badass under the desk I'm not gonna lie so I like it all right so I got the TV hung up and I was able to kind of like go around and make a checklist of all the things that I need to do like you know move over this painting a little bit and still figure out something to go up here oh oh my god what the f oh my god I apologize Barbie and Ken are just no comment. That's gonna do it for this episode of Pin My Shed. I know a lot of you guys wanna see more of these videos, so I do wanna kinda like space them out and also not do too many at once and not make them too long. So because of that, I'm gonna stop here. I do think, you know, between me getting that done, getting this done, and kinda like brainstorming, showing that off, uh, I, got, I got some good stuff done today. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the flippity flop. Bam!